Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting the UEFA Community Challenge today with Modda Lublin in Poland. I've never managed in Poland before, and I genuinely believe this could be a good time for us as we attempt to do something new for the very first time. This team is expected to finish in 16th place in the second tier of Poland. I'll be trying to do a 4-3-3 formation in my tenure as I try to do all the time. We do have two players who will be leaving us after the loan spell ends. And I don't think we have to worry too much about the players leaving us. The club vision is as this. They want me to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team. Which given we're not going to be signing any players for the Youth Academy Challenge. That could be interesting. Work within the wage budget. We do that anyway. They want me to give a maximum of one year contract to players over the age of 32. And give a minimum of two year contracts to first team players. Given that we've got players who are on contracts that last until 2024 and 2025. We can do that. They also want me to avoid relegation from this division. And to be competitive in the Polish Cup. And they also want me to continue of, to avoid relegation from this division. The fans want me to make progress on off the pitch. They also want me to beat our two rivals. Avia and Winslow. If we were to face them. One's preferred, the other's desired. They also want me to remain in the second tier. Which, given that if we get relegated, we will be sacked anyway. It's kind of not a choice. So we're here, and we have found a Polish manager. Who might have been a new gen in my beta save. I just made him into the manager in this situation. We have very little attributes to talk about. We will go for the vertical tiki taka 433 formation, as I have been quite a lot. It's a one-year deal. We are looking to do quite well. And this is the supporter profile update. And they have a free start. 3 out of 5. Moderate influence on the board. 15% are hardcore. 36% are core. 21% are family. 11% are fair weather. 4% are corporate. But 13 are casual. So the corporate, I don't really see a lot. So we've actually got a good enough stadium that we've got 4% wanting to make use of the stadium facilities and the club marketability which is actually interesting and i like that's the case but the hardcore base we are very passionate very very, very good the fact that the hardcore and core fan is actually more than half of the tenure is quite good i think and the fact we have the family supporters tend to be temperament and patient is good the fair weather 11 percent. this is probably not ideal to have 11 percent, but i know in some other Teams, it's not going to be as polite but the casual not bad i mean they're more likely to leave us if we don't do well we only have about 16,000 people follow us on social media and 1,800 people in the ticket holders list which is also not ideal but yes club vision is as this we're expected to do quite well and just to avoid relegation i think we can do that given that we are doing okay we've only got four players that are looking to Oh, Christ. Okay, we might need to keep these players. Hang on. So, four players. Three of them are important. I'm assuming she's our best goalkeeper. Also, yes, new skin. Hi. He's actually really good. Hello. Is he really looking to leave us? Why is he in the second team? I will make you my first choice goalkeeper. You're a good goalkeeper. I don't know why you're in the second team. But that's not ideal. He's also wanted. So, let's make this my first bit of business here. So, can I get it down to 750? I'm willing to up your wages. How about 875? Well, okay, I could have done more, but I am just desperate to keep hold of this guy. Mostly because I think this is our best goalkeeper by some distance. Why he's in the second team, I don't know. Why are you in the second team? Moving to the senior squad straight away. I can't believe that she has that sort of talent in the second team. This guy is not on the second team. He's also slightly concerned. Why is he concerned? He wants first team football. Is he like third choice? He's only a, he's a leading player for the third tier though. Who has potential to do better and better. And yeah, good player for this division. I might give him a chance. Agent has got no agent. He wants to be an important player. Can I lower it down to squads? I'm getting rid of that. How about regular? Regular, okay. He doesn't want a lot of money. 275. That's a bit more than he's on right now. Uh, get rid of those. I need to check something. What are we looking at financially? What are we looking at? Okay, now we've got this finally fixed to where I want it to be. 
I am realizing we've got seven. We've got quite a bit of money actually to spend. Like we've got ten. We're spending ten grand right now in rages. We're spending ten, twelve grand in rages, and we've got six grand to really play with right now for the Camir spin. So we can work with this and give him this kind of money. Yeah, two seventy five. This co is going to come out to bite me. I'm realizing, but I'm ready to do this. Also, why does your contract expire in December? I've never seen that. Not that he's actually that good. Inconsistent as well. Yeah, this goalkeeper being consistent and in the second tier, or the second tier was weird. This guy being like a leading third tier player, but not consistent, but not inconsistent at all, is useful. He's one of those players that could be like a good right back, a centre back, and a DM if we wanted him to be, which is already useful. And we've got to try and give this guy a new contract as well, because, well, you know, potential. He's a third tier player, but he's got consistency on his side. He's also in second tier, he can improve, and he would be definitely fighting for a spot in the next team. So, £200 a week right now, 200 he's going to ask for a bit of money, isn't he? Let's go try and go to squad player, works with that. He's not asking for that much more, actually. He's only he's literally asking for the same value, so two-year deal, work with that, I can do this. Okay, that's one thing already sorted out. I genuinely didn't think I'd have to do some housekeeping straight away, but there we go. Um, I'm going to need to sort this out. Because that's a lot of information on my screen right now. Oh, weird enough. All I needed to do was just literally change one of the career stats and it's fine. I've got all I wanted now, which is useful. But anyway, we've got a lot of players we need to talk through and just to figure out what we want to do here. Do I have background stuff? I've got an assistant manager, but no head of youth development. Okay, we need to work on this. Good lord, we have no background stuff at all. Ha, huh, fun. Okay. Um, give me advice. Uh, recruitment. The chairperson is my... Okay. My chairperson? That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Okay. He's also... Why is my chairperson the one giving me all this information? I really need to sort this out. Ah. My chairperson. What does he do? Oh my god, he's my director of football. Oh. Okay. That's, um... I'm gonna be honest. Did not see this coming. I genuinely did not see the fact that my chairman or chairperson was my director of football as well. Well, that's one reason not to get... I can't do anything with his contracts, can I? I literally would not be able to do anything with his contracts. Oh, that's an issue. So my director of football is literally the person that I need to go to for... Good thing we're not doing any transfers. Good thing we're not doing any transfers. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I might need to replace a few members of staff here, I'm just realising. Which is not ideal, to say the least. Okay, so I'm actually looking at this team, and I'm realising there's a bit of an issue with some Asian players. Both of my, two of my better players in midfield are actually on the Asian side, which is not ideal. But Ryman could be t not um, terrible, but could be good as well. The fact he's a two and a half, three star player, and he's a leading player for the third tier is not ideal but i don't think he's terrible he's just not got any pace or stamina which means he's pretty much a ball playing a deep line playmaker effectively his contract also expires in a few days time oh i might need to keep him a new contract this is awkward same with this guy cool okay we might need to put as many people in new contracts as possible while we are sorting out this team i'm gonna have to sort this out another time i think Oh, the goalkeeper who I've just given a new contract to, which might see him be paid the most in the entire team, I just realised it would make him the highest paid player. That's awkward. But what can you do? We do have this guy, Sebastian Goodell. I am excited about him. Not amazing. And he's actually apparently more of a centre back, but he can also play. He's, yeah, he's definitely playing as a centre back for me. But he's exciting as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to play on the left side. He prefers being the right. Let's change that up. Gonna play on the right side because we got this guy, 27, young. He likes to be centre back. I see centre back as well, and he's a good player for this division. So we've actually got some good players here. We just need to make sure we actually give them the game time they need. 27 years of age. We are gonna use Rosmus as well as the left back. Now, Mrs. Lee, I like to use wing backs of attack. He's not amazing as a role. But he's not terrible either, and I think he could be good. He's very consistent as well. He's a decent player for his division. He's 29, so we need to work on that. But yeah, the fact that this guy is 23 and is this good. Does he hates big matches though? Decent player, very professional, but the big matches thing is an issue. I think we've got a player that we can utilize on the right rings here. So we've got options. 
I'm excited. Marcel Geisel is... I'm probably saying the name wrong, so I apologize in advance. I could use him as a deep line playmaker defend, but I could use him further forward as well, like Mazala. I've got an issue, because I want to use him in the field, but he's also better on the wing. So let's actually move you there. You can actually... The fact I can play all these players out wide and further along, along is kind of annoying, because I have got options here. Oh, this is going to be an issue, isn't it? I'm going to have to think on my best team. I don't know what my best team is yet. Um, but the fact that this is probably my best striker. Um, but this guy is my best striker, apparently. But he's also an inverted winger. So I kind of want to use this 21-year-old Jacob Sutta, uh as my main striker. I think he can do it. I just don't know if he will. That's the problem I'm going to find myself with. So, he likes to be the upside trap, which is actually really good. He's 5'10", yeah, so he's not going to be a set-piece specialist or anything. Like, he can't be someone we can find. But, he's 21, he's got potential to be better. He's potentially good enough to be a player for this division. I think we've got options here, I really do. I mean, all over the place, because I'm literally trying to figure out what my team is at this point, and that's saying a lot. 18 teams, we played each other twice. Given I've just been in Colombia, this is actually a nice change of pace. You can... I don't have more than two non-EU players in the playing 11. You must have at least one Polish under 21 player in the starting 11, which... Do I have that? Oh god, do I have that? Just about. Oh my god, I just about have that. Oh, that's an issue. <laughs> that might be a problem. Alright, we might need to play some of the young kids to fit that criteria, which is very awkward. We do have some young talent, and there's actually a new gen here, so that's fun. Oh, hello. Got this guy. This guy might be my solution to that problem. I might be playing an 18-year-old who's in the second team in the first team to fit that criteria. Okay, this could be interesting. He's very, very consistent as well and has a lot of potential. We might be using you, Marcel, and you may not be ready for the first team yet, but I'm probably going to have to use you, which is slightly awkward, but okay. I'm also seeing why this guy was actually in the first team and actually is also wanted. Why? Oh, yeah, they're my division. But yeah, they. I might be losing my goalkeeper, who I might not use as my first choice as well. He's 6 3, to be fair. He's only played once, which makes the fact that he was actually being told as the main guy a bit surprising. This guy's better if I was compared to two right now. Yeah, I'd say he's not as good, but he's also younger. He's also got a longer deal. I'm also just paying this guy more money. Oh, I only just noticed this rule, and that might be the one that's going to cost me a few things. Born after the 31st of December. 2002 might be a problem pre-season preview we actually spent the finish in 15th so we should in that regards be avoiding relegation this guy's within the media dream 11 i'm gonna have to use this guy i don't know why i'm gonna use him yet i could use him in the wings on both sides i'm not using the second midfielder i could use him further back if i needed to i kind of also feel like i can need to use him in the field which is not ideal but he could be really good there oh I've got problems. I need to figure out my best team. And this is going to be an absolute pain to deal with, I think. And the fact that both my two best players are inverted wingers is beautiful, but annoying at the same time. So I need to figure out what the hell am I going to do. So yes, we are up to be in 15th place. It could be a challenge. It may not be a challenge. It depends, really. Squad rewards. Now, this is a thing that I am actually interested in because I've seen this rule, and I'm going to show you this rule now, of the squad reward. Where if we were to play a good number of players, the most number of minutes on the under-21s, we could make up between 36 and a half to 292,000 pounds. I don't know how often that's given. I just know it is given. And that playing, giving minutes to the players under the 21 is very, very good. And that could help us is what I'm hoping is the case and will benefit us in the long run. So that's something I need to look into. It's also why this exists. And also the uh, international matches is important. So if they get international call-ups, like under-21s, I think, or just generally big, big call-ups, then we can get points on that. And this will give us prize money, which I'm hoping will help us long-term. I really am hoping that's the case. Sponsorship income, we are about 11th, £145,000 in income right now in sponsorship. But we do have one of the biggest stadiums, 15,247 seats, which is why I'm in this situation with this club, and also the facilities are actually pretty decent. Adequate training facilities, good youth facilities, average youth academy coaching, and adequate recruitment, finances. We are not expected to lose a lot of money, I'm noticing here. 
Like, we're not going to be in debt or anything. We're just going to be losing some money. Which is fine, as long as we can control it. Which means I need to look after the finances and the wage budget and not overspend on something stupid. So, if we can work with that, we're good. But, that is what I'm going to do. We just wanted to overview the team and just look at the team right now. What I'm going to do, though, is end this hit. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Search. I hope you guys like and share this video. And let's just go to the channel. It really does help me a lot. But either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.